Hello there and welcome to the channel. This is Machine Dana and we've got another Streamlabs tutorial video for you. In this video, I'm going to be going into the Streamlabs Online modules and specifically, I'm going to be giving an overview of the Gamble module, the Gamble mini game. So the Gamble mini, mini game is a way of your users being able to essentially risk some of their earned loyalty points for a potential reward that can then come back to them. I'm going to be going through how to set that up and the settings for that, uh, what the preferences mean and you know how exactly that can be made to be interactive on your stream. Also, how you can customize the commands used for your loyalty points gamble mini game. If you watch this video and you do find it useful, please do give it a little thumbs up below because that does help other people to find this content, increases the awareness of this video. I've been working hard to get a lot of uh, Streamlabs tutorials out there to help people in the streaming world. If you wanna see more tips, tricks, hints, tutorials, or just general talk about streaming in general, uh, then please feel free to give me a little subscribe below. I stream daily, most days at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Without further ado, let's get into it. So hopefully by now you've had a chance to download and install Streamlabs OBS. If you haven't, um, you can do it with this button here. This is Windows, but I think you can select um, non-Windows or Mac version or whatever. I believe that you can use Streamlabs online as a tool to inter interact with a non-Streamlabs OBS software but i've not got experience of doing that just yet i use both the streamlabs obs software and also the streamlabs online functions and modules what you need to do there is ensure that the cloud bot function is toggled on and you, you simply click on this section here turn it on here and then in your own chat so on your own twitch page in chat you forward slash mod space streamlabs in your chat and that will mod cloudbot to your twitch account uh, the same applies to facebook gaming the same applies to youtube gaming so this is not twitch specific on the module section there's loads of different modules that you can interact with through uh, cloudbot and enable your viewers to have fun with and interact with each other um, i've done loads of different videos about these so feel free to browse if there's any here that you see and you want to know more information about this video specifically relating to the gamble minigame module First of all, if you want to enable that, again, Cloudbot has to be on. Mods, uh, you have to have modded Streamlabs. Um, and then you click on the Gamble mini game toggle to turn that on. That's that's now turned on and enabled on your stream. You probably want to first go into the preferences tab. Before we do that, I just want to say here, so it allows your viewers to gamble with their loyalty points by rolling a 100-sided dice. And the way that your users do that is by going uh, by typing in chat uh, whilst you're streaming exclamation point gamble space and then the amount of points that they wish wish to risk there's a really simple 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 straightforward module i find that this because of its simplicity is gets a lot of use on my channel it's very interactive and people kind of root for each other or maybe they get quite happy because somebody else has lost it depends on the types of personalities that you have in your chat the gamble minigame does use the loyalty system that you've set up have done another tutorial about loyalty systems so please do check that out i will link it below but essentially you do need to ensure that the loyalty system within settings is enabled and that you've got some of these functions here these functions just allow your users to get payouts if they're watching in this case every five minutes they'll get one of my girth clout that's what my loyalty name is don't ask <laughs> uh, and then payouts to active users so these are users that are actually chatting uh, they get an extra two so someone that's chatting every five minutes on my stream will get at least three uh, payouts of the girth clout and it's the girth clout that they're able to then gamble on the module uh, for the gamble mini game there's not many preferences for the gamble mini game and again that's just the beauty of this is the simplicity um you do need to be just very aware that you don't want to be promoting gambling in general on your channel I, i'm not sure if that's against twitch's terms of services i would not be surprised if it is i know there's been some uh, kind of issues around that what we've got here is a non-currency this is a loyalty based system that doesn't hold any actual value uh, that people are gambling and obviously your users need to understand that that is the case just a little bit of responsibility in mind there if you find that people are joining and all they're doing is gambling you might want to just talk to them privately or something like that so with the loyalty you can set a minimum amount 
that they can gamble. Uh, here, it may just be that you don't want somebody constantly spamming, like, one <laughs> loyalty point every, like, five minutes, uh, and it might just get a little bit spammy in the chat. So I've set mine to 50, and then a maximum amount here. In some regards, it's worthwhile having a higher maximum because you may want it so that sometimes people could literally lose all of their loyalty points depending on how you, as the streamer, are using your loyalty point system. Otherwise, you can, what can happen on some channels is the loyalty points literally just goes up and up and up and up and up. And I have seen that happen on some people's streams um, where the points just simply go up and they never go down because there's not enough things to spend it on or lose it or gamble it on or whatever. Now we get to the 100-sided dice. So you've got essentially five sets of parameters. These parameters are fixed. So 1 to 25, 26 to 50, 51 to 75, 76 to 98. And then you've got this last one here. And these, this is the multiplier. So if I've uh, done exclamation point, gamble, space, and then let's say I've done a, I've gambled 100 of my girth clout, which is my loyalty points system. Um, if I roll a, a 1 to a 25, it will give me none back i will get no loyalty points back the same applies to 26 to 50 i will get none back so there's a 50 percent chance on my channel that the user is going to lose whatever they gamble however if they roll a 51 to 75 they're going to get one times their amount of money back so if they gamble 100 they will get 100 back 76 to 98 they'll get twice the amount back and if they get if they're lucky enough to get the 99 to 100 they'll get six times the amount back now let's just put this into context you can edit those i'm not going to edit mine because that's the settings that i've got once you've edited those just go back into this menu here it'll auto save it and then in your channel i'm hosting someone here so ignore, ignore that uh, in your channel here you can then simply type gamble and then space and then an amount let's say 100 I happen to, yeah, you have to have an amount of of the loyalty points to actually enable this to happen. Just before I do that, I'm just going to go into my loyalty system. I'm going to go for myself, Machine Dana, and it turns out that apparently I've lurked on my own channel enough to, to generate 491 of the points. I've, I know I've got enough to gamble that amount. You can set up extra commands so that users can check what their balance is. For me, I've customized mine to be exclamation mark GK which is girth clout, my points. You have 493, which we've just seen. So that's good. So now I can just go, okay, now I want to exclamation mark gamble 100 and then simply press enter. This is what your viewers will do. So I rolled 98 and I won 200 girth clout and now has 593 girth clout. As we can see, 76 to 98, I got twice the amount of my money back. There is a cooldown period. I think it's set at 30 seconds, but it might be a minute. So what I've been able to establish while testing this is that um, I think the cooldown for each specific user resets each time they try. So it doesn't count down a full linear one minute or 30 seconds. It resets that cooldown every time someone tries to gamble and fails because the cooldown period hasn't extended. And I think the cooldown period is 60 seconds. So it's worth bearing that in mind. Finally, I just wanted to quickly go into the from modules, the commands tab. Now with the commands tab, you've got custom commands that you can create. And I've done other videos about custom commands. So I won't go into any detail there, but you've also got these default commands here. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the different ways standard default commands. So there's a heist one, a poll one, and so on. And there is a gamble one. So I put this as gamble, uh, and that is, I think, the global one. Sometimes people put it as roulette or 100 dice or roll dice or something like that. I think the standard is exclamation point gamble, but you can edit that just by doing that. And you can also uh, have it so that the permissions is set to only subscribers, uh, the streamer, moderators, or regulars. So you can restrict the permission uh, and, and the reply to be in chat versus in a whisper. So you can also click on the advanced tab here. There is a global cooldown set as zero. If you wanted to have a global cooldown so that other users aren't constantly spamming your chat, you could do that, perhaps one minute. I probably wouldn't advise that because I think that would probably alienate some of your, um, your, your viewers. But the user cooldown uh, in itself is quite long by default. I think it's 300. And I think that's actually quite long. So I'm going to just set that to 60 seconds. Uh, and I'm also going to add an alias of roulette. 
because a lot of people have tried using roulette as the standard. So that just means that whenever someone types, if I click add alias, exclamation point roulette or exclamation point gamble, it's essentially the same thing. You can customize the win response and the loss response messages here. You might want to put some like emotes in there. For example, I don't know, is, this, is there a gamble emote? I use emojipedia.org. There's a slot machine here, so that's kind of cool. You could put some of those emotes in there or like a, a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down if they won or lost. And that's and that's it. You can edit those in the, once again, it's in the commands and default commands section. But there you have it. Hopefully you've got some new information and you found this useful about setting up the gambling mini game on your stream, as long as you're using streamlabs.com as the online cloud function to enable this and ensure that the settings are all correct. You should be able to enable that and hopefully that'll create a lot more interactivity on your streams. Don't forget to subscribe, twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and take it easy. Thanks guys.